We've got a side basically massage and work through with the shampoo. One of the things to look at is the coat that hangs under the belly and the ribs and also the elbows. The motion here is that I will open my hand, bring it up, close and bring it down. Again, being very careful not to make them or, or to enhance mat production. So we're down. You can see that it gently tugs. You're not really holding tight. So your hand slipping over the hair, but it is working the shampoo. I guess I probably end up doing this about five strokes in each area to make sure that it's properly worked through. And very similar behind the elbow. Then it'll be open, come in, close, dry it out. Obviously I'm going much slower just to demonstrate this than I normally would. And up to regular speed. Nothing about this is a race. It's much better to do the job properly than to do it fast. Now to get into the elbow area and under there. Next area of concern, of course, is the feet. Still have a little bit of shampoo left. If you need to, always make up more. Bertie, back up, son. Back up. Good boy. Come in. So in this case, I'll put a couple extra shots of shampoo in there. Hand over, close, draw out. And do that on both sides, front and back. Bird, steady, good boy. Good boy, Virgil. And you can actually see the hair whitening up as the shampoo lifts the dirt. Steady, V. Bird, stop, son, come on. And is also massaging it with the fingertips as well. Bert, what's up, son? Why are you so shaky today? Come on. Steady, son. Go for it. Stop, Virgil. We're inside the paws. The bottom of the paws will. We'll just work it out radially. In the center, out. Now this hair has to be trimmed as well, but you still got the hair above the foot and the back of the hawk. There you go, son. There you go. Good boy. And work it down. They will fidget. A lot of this is fairly invasive to them. It's certainly not a natural thing for them to go through. But as long as you're gentle but firm with them, let them know what ex what's expected, they will train up very quickly. I don't think Virgil took more than four or five baths to get all of this down. And I'm just pulling it out to make sure I've got all the way down to the skin on the legs. When it's like this, you can readily see the staining from when they lick their feet. Whitening shampoo will take most of that out on the next phase of the tub. Boy. The air and muzzle are very much the same as we just did with the feet. A little bit extra shampoo. Support the ear leather from behind. And just work it down. Good boy, B. Should be enough shampoo on the underside. Maybe not this time.
good boy, Virgil. Yeah, you're a good boy. Excellent boy. And the muzzle. Do the same thing. Looking the hair out from the top down. Bringing the hand in open, closing, and drawing it out. I hope I'm giving enough of a description of this. I tend to do it by second nature. Boy, Birch. Work back under his eyes, massage with the fingertips. Not a difficult job but a very repetitive and quite long job. Virgil will typically take a little under two hours in the tub. It used to take about two and a half before I had this tub, which has made it much more comfortable for me and for him. But you should be able to get any full-coated dog shampooed out rinsed and rinsed out in about two to two and a half hours. <laughs>